When it comes to challenging Tom Brady's GOAT status, there aren't many names on the list, but it still isn't empty, which is why today I'm talking about some of the best NFL players to follow in Brady's footsteps, starting with Trevor Lawrence. You slip that play in there and confuse your eyes. 14th play of this drive, the pass to the end zone, it is caught. He's definitely the least likely player to surpass Brady as a GOAT, but it's still a possibility if he continues to improve at a steady pace. Sure, I could be wrong, but there's just something about this dude. He has this grace and smoothness in his technique, something we haven't seen since Andrew Luck. Luck had a similar technique and he was an absolute joy to watch. His stature and his build are perfect, exactly how a football player should be built. The only problem Lawrence might face is the way Jacksonville Jaguars manage their franchise. I highly doubt that they'll sign enough elite players for their roster and eventually improve their roster by the time Lawrence's rookie deal ends. But the good thing's that Lawrence is still only 23. He has a long way to go, and he can improve massively as time progresses. There's no doubt about that, but that doesn't mean he isn't talented. He has loads of talent, and when you talk about the most talented young QBs in the league, Lawrence is always on top of that list. This is how good he is. Some even say that his natural ability is better than Tom Brady, so he'll take less time to develop. Well, I'm not too sure about that. It's kind of unfair to ask so much of Lawrence so early in his career. Like, the guy's only 23. We need to give him as much time as he needs to develop, and maybe one day he can surpass Brady as the GOAT. But unlike Trav, this next Next player doesn't need time. He's almost there. It's Josh Allen. It demands like, okay, you're gonna guard him one-on-one, -on -one. he demands a double team just like second and ten. You may not agree with me on this one, but I've seen a massive improvement in Josh Allen with the Bills in the last couple of years. He already has developed himself into an elite quarterback, and while doing that, he's also helped his franchise become one of the best teams in the AFC. This is what great players do. They not only improve themselves, but also always make their team better. I see many championship appearances in Allen's future, there's no doubt about that. And Boy, if he starts winning championships the same way Tom Brady did with the Patriots, then there will be no stopping him. Nothing will be left for him then to prove himself as the undisputed GOAT of the league. But are the Bills winning a Super Bowl anytime soon? Because looking at their track record, I don't have a great feeling. They managed to make it to four Super Bowls in the 90s, but they lost on each and every occasion. But a same kind of run with Allen in the driving seat could prove to be more successful for the Bills, and they might actually win for once. This could be huge for Allen's legacy. He has a huge fan base in the city of Buffalo, and the Bills have all the right resources and the coach to become Super Bowl contenders. At least in the next five years, Josh Allen is in the perfect place right now. And from right here, he can win many championships in the coming years. Omaha, Speaking of winning championships, the next player just got a taste of it. Patrick Mahomes. Oh yeah. Mahomes sets up the screen. Hunt. Hunt. 30. 20. We're gonna have a long talk about this guy. Everyone knew that Mahomes is a very talented player, but no one knew that he was Superman. He's a legend in the making, and if you think otherwise, you clearly don't watch football enough. He's fresh off of winning his second ring already in his young career, and it's definitely not the last. Like, for someone who suffered an ankle injury just a month ago, his performance at the Super Bowl was insane. Unfortunately, he he injured the same ankle during the game, but it's fine. He won the championship, y'all. Already, there are some who believe that he can surpass Tom Brady's legacy, and I'm one of them too. And if you've seen this guy play, you'd be thinking the same way. Tom Brady has so many achievements to his name that make him the undisputed go to this sport. But Mahomes is already on the right track, and he has the right set of skills to reach that status. But what is it that he's got to do in order to become the GOAT? 
he needs to win more championships for starters. Mahomes' recent Super Bowl win gave him his second ring. That's already more than some of the greatest QBs of all time. Take Aaron Rodgers and Drew Brees, for example. They've only won one championship. So Mahomes already has an edge over players like them. It's tough to win one championship, but to win two? Not everyone can pull this off, especially in such a short amount of time. Mahomes already has a Hall of Fame level career, if you ask me, but to surpass the greatness of Brady, two rings aren't enough. He's gonna have to win a lot more rings than that. I mean, Brady won a ridiculous seven rings in his career, so Mahomes has to come as close to that number as he can. The advantage Mahomes has is that he already has two so early on in his career. This leaves him with a lot of time to double that number or even triple it. But there's one thing Mahomes will need in order to win more rings, consistency. Just look at Brady's career, for example. His consistency over the years has been sensational. We only see the seven rings on his fingers. What we don't see is how much he has worked in order to reach that level. Brady played for more than 20 seasons in the league, and there are many players who've done the same. But playing 20 seasons is one thing, and playing 20 seasons at the same level is a whole other thing. And this is what Brady did for so long. Most players start slowing down in their late 30s. Brady, he won an MVP at 44 and a Super Bowl at 43. Brady aged like a fine wine. This is what Mahomes has to replicate if he wants to become the best. And trust me, this is the hardest part, even tougher than winning seven rings. Being consistent for decades isn't an easy gig, which brings us down to the last and most important question, can Mahomes overtake Brady? I think yes. It's very much possible for a player like Mahomes. He has all the right ingredients to overtake Brady. He has the skill, drive, and determination. Take this season, for example. The Chiefs were nowhere near being the contenders for the Super Bowl. They just lost their star player Tyreek Hill. Plus, all the teams in their own division and outside of it became stronger and stronger. No one was expecting so much from the Chiefs, but with a player like Mahomes on the field, anything's possible. He's the one who led his team, put his team on top of the AFC, battled an ankle injury, and went on to win the Super Bowl for his team. If that isn't GOAT-level performance, then what is? While it's highly likely that a player like Mahomes can overtake Brady, it's not guaranteed. Many players in the past have tried to overcome the legacy of Tom Brady, but have failed miserably. What Brady has achieved isn't easy to achieve, but if there's anyone who can do it, it's Patrick Mahomes for sure. That's all for today. These were the players who can overtake Tom Brady as the GOAT. See you in the next one.